What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. I'm going to be getting ready to drill a hole in a fish tank. That's right, I'm going to drill a hole through some glass, which is uh, totally not natural, but I'm going to do it because uh, I'm going to have my tank, a 40 gallon breeder, become a reef ready tank. I got this kit from glassholes.com. They make dope aquarium stuff. I did a complete unboxing of it in a, another video, but in this one, we're actually going to take the drill, take it to the tank, drill some hole, and uh, get it going. Now, this is a 700 gallon per hour overflow. Came with everything, the kit, and uh, I'm going to mark my aquarium with a black marker, um, and these are some of the equipment that I'm going to use. I was going to use a different kind of drill, a drill that you could plug in, but... I actually read the directions to this uh, kit. I recommend using a cordless drill because you're going to be dealing with water. They don't want you to be getting the extension cord or your drill wet and risking the chance of you getting electrocuted. This is the drill bit that it came with. Very nice brand new drill bit and it has like a diamond on there so that way it makes it possible for you to cut through glass. Oh, certain websites do sell the drill bits individually but they sell them so expensive. So you might as well go ahead and get it with the kit that comes with an overflow, comes with the bulkhead, and it even comes with some candy. Now I picked up this tank from Petco. It's a 40 gallon breeder. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use it as a frag tank. It's not reef ready, it just comes as a uh, regular aquarium. And I have used it as a uh, regular hang on back equipment on the past, hang on back protein skimmer, hang on back biological filter all of that but this time I'm going to do it right take my time and uh, drill this tank now during the process I did actually read the directions thoroughly I know that's not manly but uh, this is my first time doing it and uh, I made sure to read everything that was highlighted and then read it once again to see if I missed anything I pit my guide in the middle of the tank um, there's different options of where you can pit your overflow you just have to select how where you want your water line. Um, I did that and then I pinned my guide in the middle of the tank so because that's where I wanted my overflow. I thought about pinning on the left side, the right side. Just the middle just made more sense for me because the pipe can go straight down and then make a left turn over into a sump. I'm going to do a separate uh, sump video later on. I did mark the outline with a black marker, a thick black marker. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. I did secure the uh, guide with some uh, clamps and uh, got it started. The whole time when I did this, I did not know if this tank was tempered or non-tempered, but hey, life's a risk, Cardinal. All kidding aside, I did not have any stickers that said, this is tempered glass, do not drill. Usually uh, they do say that. The older tanks probably might not, and uh, there's tricks that you have to use sunglasses and things like that. At least that's what I saw in the uh, video. Um, but uh, this tank, uh, so far the whole entire time, I was expecting it to burst into little tiny little pieces, but it didn't. And after a while, um, I started just spraying it with water and just kept on driving on. I know it's kind of crazy that I'm not using a water hose. Um, I really didn't e even use that plumber's putty. I just used a guide and a spray bottle. The spray bottle was holding the water, so you know what? I kept on drilling it. Uh, a couple of times I would stop, add some more cool water, just spray it, clean it out, and then just continue drilling again. I did end up using some of that putty once I made a little bit of hole into the glass. Um, I wasn't really pressing down on the glass at all. I let the drill do all the uh, the the work for me. And uh, most of the time I just use this little guy to uh, drill a hole through a glass aquarium. It's not as bad as it looks. It really is just standing there trying to keep the drill steady, not pressing down on the glass, and just standing there. The whole thing took me about 20 minutes because I am a rookie at doing this. This was my first time drilling a tank, and I wasn't even sure if it was tempered or non-tempered. But uh, after the first five minutes, I was like, hey, you know what? It would have burst into a uh, little tiny million pieces by now, and uh, it hasn't, so I just continued to stand there and spray water and then just uh, clean it up and then continue to punch a hole through this uh, aquarium. 
I do want to go ahead and make a quick note that if you do have a cordless drill, you better have the second pack charged just in case you don't want to get started and then have to wait. And that's exactly what happened in my case. The first battery died. And then after that, uh, I just popped in the brand new battery and I was good to go. The whole thing about uh, drilling aquariums is kind of nerve wracking, especially if you're a rookie like me. But uh, the best thing to do is just get comfortable hit the aquarium somewhere where you're not going to get tired and then just drill as level as you can and steady as you can. I didn't drill fast. I just kept the drill bit going steady and kept spraying it every now and then and that's about it. Uh, before I knew it I was already through the hole and uh, I was done. After I finished up drilling it I went ahead and cleaned up the glass hole. I got my shop vac and picked up any shards of a glass that could have been in there. I just shop vacuumed it up, vacuumed it, wiped it down, cleaned it up as best as I could, and uh, that's about it. Um, it's not a perfect cut, but you know what it, it'll do? When I do my uh, bulkhead um, on the overflow, make sure that I don't tighten it super tight because I don't want to crack this glass and then, you know, be out of an aquarium. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not that hard. Go ahead and do it if you do it. Just remember glass holes has everything for free the whole kit well it's not free but everything is included in that price and that's even to include shipping and handling thanks guys you guys have a good one like and subscribe you guys take care